Hello guys, I just want to say one more thing before we get started with this new awesome video that I'm about to post. Um, Niz Gaming is awesome and he um wants me to give him a shout out. I just want to let you guys know that. Go subscribe to his channel right now and I will start the video at this moment. His um, link to his um channel is down in the description below. Thanks for watching and check out his channel. Peace out and bye. Hello there guys, welcome back to another Mr. Fish video. I hope you're going to like this little video that I'm going to be showing you. How to make an air world with nothing there and it's going to be completely blank for you to do endless things with your Minecraft that you have bought from Mojang. And this is going to be really cool. I'm just going to show you now, I want to get straight to the point. So what you're going to do is name your world. Air world, I'm going to just put why not, air world works, air world world. Um, change it to creative because you have to have it in creative or you will just die instantly. Basically, that's basically how it works. You're going to want to go to more world options. Generate structures off because you don't want floating structures everywhere. World type, you're just going to want to go to super flat. Um, presets, you're going to want to delete all this. I'm just going to do like this. Delete. And I've already got this copy and pasted because I cannot simply remember it. There's multiple codes in this, but you're going to want to type this. It's 2 um, right there. I don't know. I think that's a colon, right? 0 colon 1. I think that's what it was. Yeah, that's right. So you're just going to want to type that in, and once you're done, you're just going to use the preset. And it should put air. If it doesn't say air, you um, did something wrong. You might want to go back and do it or redo it again, you know. And when you're done with that, click done. Um, basically right there, you're pretty much done. So, you want to create new world. And as it's creating the new world, it's going to, um, load a world. It's going to build nothing, absolutely no terrain. That's why it takes zero seconds. But when you first spawn in, you're going to want to double tap spacebar if you're in creative, which hopefully you are. Um, you're going to want to press F3, the coordinates. You're going to want to move up and down. Make sure you're not in the negatives, because if you're in the negatives, that means you're below ground. I believe, yeah, below ground, below bedrock, and you're going to want to go up to at least 65 or 70, because that's the brightest, and yeah, I'm at 75, so I'm just going to stay right here, you're going to do slash, put up your little command bar, um, to get you going on a little block so you can start building, slash set block, squiggle zero, squiggle zero, squiggle zero, there's other ways you can do this too, so don't rant me in the comments. Minecraft, this one, we're just going to use, uh, you can use any block as long as you know the actual name of it. Um, I'm just going to use stone. I'll show you a couple more examples. You can use glowstone. Um, you can use, uh, what was it? I don't know. We'll just use grass. Why not? Grass is always the coolest thing. Grass. All the kids are doing it these days. No. <laughs> um, that's basically it. That's how you do it. You can also do it like this too as well. Um. Instead of putting the zeros, just do the squiggly, but it's no big deal. Just something, I guess, another easier way to do it. Less work. Stone still works, as you can tell. So, once you get that going, you can just um, get anything out of the inventory and creative and just start building. Use it for your Minecraft tutorials, your YouTube videos, whatever you gotta do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, which is a really quick one, I guess you could say. Not my shortest video, supposedly, by um, Alex Bugs, but... <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, and rate, comment, subscribe, peace out, and bye.